Hey Alex, I need help. I want to get 18 by 12 and a half, and I have like $400 and I want to keep it on my stock body. Stop. Stop with that. That's not how it works at all. I thought we've been making videos teaching you guys that you can't do that unless you want to do everything and you just keep asking if you can put 18 by, you can't. You can't put 18 by 12s on a 2004 Subaru WRX. You just, you can't do it unless you decide you want to cut up your entire fenders and do an over fender. It's just, we get a lot of emails with that thing. So I'm going to move on to what we're actually here to talk about is why you should slam the out of your car and why that should be the first modification you should do out of everything else because that's just the way the cookie crumbles and I'm going to convince you why hopefully in the next five minutes and if I don't convince you I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments below but don't forget to subscribe and check out fitmentindustries.com if you're looking to get suspension and lowering springs and coilovers and airlift and all that sort of good stuff because that allows us to keep making cool videos like this. So let's just first get into it. So when you look at like lowering springs and suspension components and looking to do your first modification I think we've all been there. We were all 16 once I hope or we're still 16 if you're out there and you're like I want to do the thing that gets me the most attention the thing that's gonna make my car look the best and I really don't have a ton of money but I want to do it like now and so a lot of people the first thing that they automatically go to are underglow window tint and wheels and no no, what you want to do is you want to lower your car. Now let me explain just a little bit as to why I'm saying this. So when you look at a car and you get aftermarket wheels, that is super cool. In the modern day, there's a lot of sport cars that actually come with aftermarket suspension components that make the car lower. So in the current day and age, it's not as much of a big of a deal to have a lowering sus or a suspension system, aftermarket suspension system in a new car. However, when you are 16, I know for a fact, I know for a fact that unless you're some guy, you know, over in a popular state with your daddy and mom making a whole ton of money that you're probably not gonna get a 2008 you know STI or you know something like that you're probably gonna get like an entry-level vehicle and you just the, the wheel gap on entry-level vehicles is like the size of my noggin it's absolutely massive but what ends up happening is people want to put the window tint the underglow and the wheels on their car because those are like the flashiest things that you can do it's the sharpest thing you can do for your car what ends up happening is that they put on these aftermarket wheels on stock suspension and it looks like silly because what happens is with a lot of aftermarket wheels especially for cars is that they're almost meant to be on a car that's already lowered because wheels are more aggressive than the car period there's not a lot of wheels out there right now that are less aggressive than the car that they're getting put on a lot of wheel si uh, wheel designs and things like that are five spoke double five spoke infinity spoke things like that heavy concave and it's just an overall really sharp wheel so what happens is, is when you have the super sharp wheel with a million inches of suspension suspension travel and a million inches of like, you know, wheel gap, what ultimately happens is your car looks weird because you have this soft body on these super sharp wheels and things just don't line up. And what I'm trying to get to is that when you lower your car first, when you get into the aftermarket suspension components and the lowering springs and the coilovers, what you're doing is you're just making the car look the way that you would want it to. So it's not just about the aesthetic because I know that there's people out there that are already like, suspension is for performance parts and it's not for aesthetic. Stop telling people that it's for looks. Listen, there are very few parts in the automotive scene that do both, that do both function and form, very few. And there are some out there, but you're usually paying an arm or a leg for a suspension or for any part out there that has both form and function. You know it, I know it, a lot of the things that are out out there right now aren't for function they're for form aka looks versus actual like drivability suspension components and lowering springs and all that sort of junk i'm just going to call it coilovers coilovers are essentially the easiest most affordable best way to get the biggest function and form part like for your car because when you do get aftermarket coilovers you are lowering the center of gravity you're increasing the ride quality you're increasing just how it feels around pretty much everywhere it looks a million times better you have less body roll you're actually making just the car feel healthier as a whole and you increase your driver's experience I mean everybody that's lowered their car you know what I'm talking about unless you've chopped your springs in which case don't do that. But with aftermarket coilovers, you essentially get all of that. And if you get really into it, you can start dialing in your suspension components into like a perfect fit for your car. But not only that, you also get the fact that you have something that makes your car look better. There really is something in my nose and I can't. <laughs> I was sick the last couple days. That's why you saw Alex, the other Alex. His actual name is Gels. We're actually changing his name. We are sending him to the DMV to get that changed in around 20 minutes. It's gonna be awesome. And uh, yeah, you'll see him again in an episode in like a week. His name is Gels. Call him Gels. But even if you go just straight to a looks point of view, wheel gap is probably the most horrendous thing in the scene right now. Absolutely nobody wants 
wheel gap. It doesn't matter if you have mismatched body panels, a wide body that clearly doesn't fit on your car, a chassis mount wing that isn't actually straight, or random bits and pieces that are probably gonna fly off the car in 50 miles. If you have fitment, you're good. You'll pretty much get into any show you could possibly want to, and your car's gonna look really, really good when you're taking pictures. Just don't drive it around ever, and you'll be perfectly fine. Trust me, I know that life. But when you go into the suspension components, you're getting both the form and the function. And at the same time, you guys might be out there saying, well, I want aftermarket wheels before I get suspension, or I want aftermarket wheels while I get my suspension. And I'm not saying that you can't, but what also ends up happening is when you end up with aftermarket coilovers or something like that, you actually change what you're ultimately gonna be able to fit on your car because what happens is when the car gets lower you're getting closer to the fender you might have to look about rolling or pulling your fenders and things like that and then what may have fit when you were you know jacked up to the sky because you had stock suspension will no longer fit because you realize that you're rubbing all over the place and you're gonna blow a tire suspension being a first modification is super cool because there are so many cars that we've seen out there that are on OEM wheels but that have aftermarket suspension whether it's coilovers or air suspension or anything like that and it still looks pretty killer it looks absolutely baller when you see a 370Z Nismo on OEM wheels, which if you guys didn't know, is probably one of the best looking OEM wheels out there. We probably will actually do a video on that. That are probably one of the best looking wheels out there. And when they put it on air, when they put it on coils, I mean, it just makes the car look modified. Like a 2012 Nismo looks modified just with aftermarket suspension because of all the other aero that they put on the car at the same time. You have certain cars that just look good like that. When you compare it to something in regards to having aftermarket wheels with stock suspension versus aftermarket suspension with stock wheels, you're almost always gonna get a better look by doing the suspension first because that's just what the scene is going towards. And it's not a bad thing because it's one of the, it's like one of the fitment things that we do that truly is both form and function, both with lowering springs, coilovers, and air suspension. So in regards on if you want to get coilovers or suspension before wheels, drop a comment below and see which one did you guys do first when you bought your first car. And of course, if you're interested in looking at getting some suspension, whether it's Tane, Eibach, ST, KW, all of that stuff, we have everything from like $400, $200 to like the big boy stuff. Head on over to fitmentindustries.com. You can take a look at everything that we have out there. And of course, before we get out of here, don't forget to subscribe. We're trying to get to 100,000 before we go to SEMA, which will make a video on that as well. But I'm Alex from Fitment Industries. Let us know your thoughts in the comments and we will see you later. Peace.